trigonometry, this is going to be section 11.5. And we are talking about the common log. If you do not have a calculator, you are going to want to get one right now. Common log or common logarithm. This is a logarithm that occurs naturally. Um, one example would be a, the pH um, system of alkalinity and um, acidity. That's one example that uses it. Also, the Richter scale would use the common log um, system. It has a base of 10. And when we have a base of 10, we don't write it. So for instance, if I have log base 10 of 5, the way that we write that is we just write log 5. So if you see a logarithm and it does not have a base written, you know that it is base 10. And this is a, a base that we can use on our calculator. So when you see that uh, key on your calculator that says log, you know that that's a base of 10. So let's just look at a few um, examples here that we can do. And one example, I, I just like you to write this little chart in your book. And it would be if I have log of 1,000, that equals 3 because or since 10 cubed equals 1,000. Because remember, our base here is 10. If I have log of 100, that equals 2 since 10 squared equals 100. If I have log of 10, that equals 1 since, whoops, since 10 to the first power equals 10. Let's continue on here. If I have log of 1, that equals 0 since 10 to the 0 power equals 1. Let's continue on. If I have log of 1 tenth or 0.1, that equals negative 1 since 10 to the negative first power equals 1 tenth. Um, also, let's do a couple more here. And I would say that log of 1 hundredth equals negative 2 since 10 to the negative 2 equals 1 hundredth. So I think you probably kind of get the, the gist of that. Let's write a couple others that maybe don't have all of the numbers there, if I say log of x equals y, that means that 10 to the y equals x. If I have the log of 1 equals 0, that means 10 to the 0 equals 1. So we're writing them logarithmically, and we're also writing them exponentially. On the left is logarithmically, on the right is exponentially. Next, we've got log. Um, 10 equals 1, um, so 10 to the first equals 10. Some of these kind of uh, repeat what we did up there. And then if I have log of 10 to the m, that equals m, because 10 to the m equals 10 to the m. Now let's use some of these to do some evaluating. Log comes in really handy because we can use it on our calculator. So we can change things to the log base 10. All right, so if the log of 7, that's log base 10 of 7, equals 0.8451, evaluate each of these. So first we're going to do a log of 7 million. Now I'm going to use the fact that I know what log of 7 is, and I'm going to change this to the log of 1 million times 7. And remember that I can break that up looking, using our properties that we learned in our last video. So this is log of a million plus the log of 7. Now I know the log of 7 because I was given that information, 0.8451, and I know that this is log of 10 to the 6. Log of 10 to the 6 is, in fact, 6. So this is equal to 6, and 6 plus 0.8451, or 8,451 8, ten-thousandths, is 6 and 8,451 ten-thousandths. So that is the answer when I'm asked to evaluate the log of 7 million. Let's try another one. Letter B. 
what if I need to evaluate the log of seven ten thousandths? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to break it apart because I can do that based on my properties of logarithms, which we learned in our last video. So I'm going to change this to the log of one ten thousandth times seven. And then I'm going to split those apart. So log of one ten thousand plus log of seven. I know what log of seven is. Log of seven is 0 0.8451. And this is, well, we know up here on our list, I could keep going. This right here was a negative two. So if I keep going, this one would be a one ten thousand. This would be negative four. So I'm going to take negative four plus eight eight thousand four hundred fifty one ten thousandths, and when I do that, I get a negative three and one thousand five hundred forty nine ten thousandths. So properties still apply. Let's uh, even though it's a log base ten, the properties still apply. Let's look at another example. Log five times two cubed. Now the cube just goes with the two. We're separating those apart. We don't take five times two first, but um, what we can do is we can split this up. So this is log five plus log two cubed. Remember that I could put that three up front, so I have log five plus three log two. I'm gonna use my calculator here when I do this and I round it to the nearest 10,000th, I get 0 0.6990 plus 3 times 0 0.3010. When you work the math out, you get that it's about 1 and 6,021 ten thousandths. Let's do one that involves some division. Log of 19 squared over 6. Let's split that up. Remember, we can split that up using subtraction. Log of 19 squared minus log of 6. The 2 comes out in front. So I have 2 log 19 minus log 6. Um, log of 19 is 1 and 2,788 ten thousandths minus 7,782 ten thousandths. When you work that all out, you get about 1 and 7,794 ten thousandths. Okay, remember I told you we were going to have another property. I want you to add this on your other properties. And this is the change of base formula. Change of base formula. And they have a nice little proof for this in your math book if you'd like to look at it. I'm not going to take the time to do that. But the, the change of base formula is really pretty nifty because any base, we, we only know the one base so far on our calculator, and that's the base of 10. So we can change anything to that. So if I have log, oops, I'm not really quite sure what happened there. Okay, there we go. Um, if I have the log, and I'm going to say that's base A, I'm going to change the color here, base A of N, I can change that to, um, in the um, denom or numerator, I have log and I can change the base to base 10 of n. I can change that to, say, a b, and I'm going to say 10, over log, same base, base b of a. So look where my colors are the same there. And I changed the base. It was a base of a, and that b, you could change that to base 10, and then we can do that on our calculator. So let's look at how that can be useful for us when we're solving some equations. So this should be on your property uh, sheet. You may want to keep that also handy so you can see it here. So let's say, for instance, I have the log base 9 of 1043. Well, I don't know what that is, but I could change, use the change of base formula, and I can say I'm going to do base 10, log of 1043 over log of 9, and I can just type that into my calculator, round it to four decimal places, and I get about 3 and 1,630 thousandths. 
Okay, got a couple left. Sarah, you're... Thanks, okay. All right, let's try another one. Um, log base 10 also helps us to solve a little bit tougher exponential equations. So if I have something like 6 to the 3x equals 81, there is a, another formula that says I can just take the logarithm of each side. So I can change this to the log uh, base 10 of 6 to the 3x equals log 81. Again, log base 10. Now remember, what I can do with that 3x is I can bring that 3x out in front. So I have 3x log 6 equals log 81. I can divide each side by log 6. We treat log 6 as a, an, an entity. Okay, those cancel out, so I have 3x equals, and when I work that out, I get about, um, oh, and then I divide by 3. So when I divide this by 3, I get about 8,175 thousandths. I have one problem for you to try on your own, uh, just like the one I just showed you. If I have 5 to the 4x equals 73, please find the answer for that, and please like and subscribe. Thank mm -hmm.